Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. Click the subscribe button. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. I am super excited today. Y'all, I'm always excited. But today we have some Charlotte Tilbury. I am going to, so I know I look crazy because I don't have certain products on my face right now because I want to test them all out for y'all. I feel like honestly, in my life, getting Charlotte Tilbury is like getting like that Louis Vuitton lipstick back there on the shelf. Like it's like a pinnacle of fanciness. Um, I don't have, I only had one other lipstick and I always wanted it, but it's just so expensive. So Charlotte Tilbury was having a 40% off sale the other day. Not everything was 40% off, um, but I ordered a few things. I did not realize how popular the bronzer is but i ordered that it was not on sale this was 55 dollars, the most expensive bronzer i have ever purchased but this youtuber that i've been watching her name is raquel she has a channel here it is look cute nurse i've been watching her since um yeah since i got married i've been watching her i'm obsessed with her but she talked about this in one of her recent videos and um so i tried it because I trust her judgment on makeup. This palette, y'all look how fancy. I got some lighting issues here, but look at how fancy it is. Um, and as she had mentioned, there's a lot of product. This is a huge palette. This is probably the biggest bronzer palette that I have. Um, I got this in the color tan, let me double check. Yeah, tan, number three. I'm just gonna swatch it really quick for y'all. It feels very creamy, it's very smooth. I hope this, you can't even really tell. Um, let's see, let's try it out, let's try it out. I'm excited, it's nice. Let's, oh, that is a lot more pigmented than I expected. Um, holy zoiks. Y'all, the reason I've literally never done um, any makeup videos, although like in my heart, oh, it's pretty powdery. Can you see that powder? Wasn't expecting, wasn't expecting that. Let's just, let's light hand it. Um, the reason I've never done any makeup videos. Yeah, okay. So just don't go so heavy handed because <laughs> your girl's a little heavy handed. Um, is because I don't know, I always wanted to do beauty videos and I just was like, ah, my skills are not there. Like for myself, you know, I can look good. But as far as like showing other people, I don't know about all that clearly because I just like kind of did a lot right there. I don't know, I like, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's just put some more shit, y'all. Yeah. I like it. I would have to wear it for the day to see like how I really, how I really feel about like its longevity and use for me to spend $55 on another one of these palettes because although this is big, how deep is it? You know what I'm saying? Because my, lately my go-to has been this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer um in deep bronze and i've been loving it and for the price i paid for this i could probably get somewhere like five of those so at least four for sure i i likes i likes it a lot i don't know what do y'all think i know this is a super super popular one but you know that is pretty that is Ready. The packaging is nice, but it does feel, I would have hoped for at $55 um, for something that didn't feel as plasticky. Doesn't feel like plastic like this, but still feels like plastic. I would have liked something a little bit more heavy duty. Um, I did get a lot of, well, not a lot of free stuff, but I got a few free things and a mystery item. Got a mystery item. So I got two little sample things. What are these? Um, Brightening Youth Glow and Goddess Skin Clay Mask. And then they sent this, I think um, if you ordered like over a certain amount, you got some free stuff. This was Wonder Glow. It's a primer. If I would have known, I would have tried that out too. 
didn't realize it was a primer. I only opened the box really quick to see what my mystery item was. Um, and then this is, what is this? Some kind of magic cream. It's a moisturizer. Really pretty packaging. Still feels kind of cheap, but it is a really pretty packaging. I bet like the large bottle or the large jar is so pretty. I bet it is. Okay, the other thing I got is, this was the thing that I got that was on sale. Regularly, this is $40. I got it for $24. It's a duo, pretty youth glow filter, um, soft focus cream blush and highlighter duo. And does it say the color I got? The highlighter, highlighter blush. I don't know, pretty, pretty youth glow filter. Oh, seduce blush. Seduce, yeah, seduce blush. Packaging is nice, again. For four, if I spent $40 on this, I would have wanted, because this is not a lot of product, I would have wanted something a little bit more heavy duty. But I thought like, mm, this is a nice color to give me kind of like a, a fresh face. I didn't realize that this is actually a cream product. I don't normally buy cream products anymore. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to love this. I'm going to put one side with a stipple brush. I have a small stipple brush. I don't I don't have many stipple brushes because I don't buy cream products anymore. Let's swatch it first. Let's see. Oh, it goes on dry though. And you can't really see it on my, I might've screwed up by buying this. Let's hope I didn't. Let's stipple some. I'm not a stipple brush kind of gal. I don't know. Would, at first glance from looking at this, would I spend $40 on it? Not for my complexion. I wouldn't. <laughs> Just keeping it real, y'all, because your girl's cheap as hell. And this is definitely, even if it wasn't, um, if even if it wasn't a cream, I still wouldn't, I still wouldn't um, grab this. Not for 40 bucks. For 20 Because it's Charlotte Tilbury? Meh. This will never run out for me. Most products I don't hit pan. Um, let's try with a finger and see. Yeah, most products I don't hit pan, um, but this I know I definitely won't. Mm. I think if you're a lighter complexion than me, this would look really pretty and give you like a nice little glow. Um, I'll use it because I bought it, you know, but. It's nice, it's nice. Let's try the highlighter. The highlighter kind of has a little bit of pink to it. Um, Y'all know if you watch my BoxyCharm videos, you know that like my goal in life, not impressed, not, not impressed y'all. Um, my goal in life is to pretty much look like a disco ball. And I will say, I am not impressed with this. It's, oh, it's a subtle glow. It's it's pretty. I like, like, damn, look at that highlighter. Yes, like, I like that kind of, like, I like to layer this shit, okay? Like, I like to use liquid and then cream and, like, I like to glow, okay? When I walk by, I want to look like Guy Diamond from Trolls. If you're a mom, you know who that is. I want to be sparkling like that. Um, That subtle glow is really pretty, though. I'm not going to lie. That's a really pretty, that's a really pretty subtle glow. I'm not, I'm not joshing you, not even joshing you, but I would definitely um, take some, take another highlighter and put it on top of that because I don't, the subtle is nice. The subtle is nice. Um, let's just, okay. I mean, you know, I don't know. Would I take this with me if I went on a trip since it's a little duo compact? I might. It's nice. I wouldn't buy it again, though. Let's see. I don't know, y'all. That, that highlighter is subtle, but it's like, damn. You know? Ah, what do you, leave me a comment. Let me know what do you think, because, <laughs> y'all, I'm kind of liking that. I'm liking that shine right there. 
let's just put highlighter everywhere I would normally put highlighter, which is <laughs> all over myself. I don't know, I'm kind of liking it now. I'm like looking at it come together, I'm kind of like, okay, what do I do without to my hand? Kinda. Yeah. I'm gonna grab another brush here. Y'all know I got to I got to highlight everything. Kinda liking it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. At first I was like, yeah, but now I'm kinda like, hmm, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at it at all. Yeah. Okay. If I ran out of this highlighter and I could get this thing for, I wonder if she has this, just the highlighter. Now I'm kind of interested in checking out like her other highlighters and seeing, you know, seeing how well those are because I am loving the subtleness of this. Hmm. Okay, Charlotte. Okay. Okay, Charlotte. Mama sees you. For $24. Yes. Especially if you are a lighter complexion than me. Yes. Because this is this is a nice glow. When I want like a fresh face, like I don't want to have like a, I want a fresh face. This is the blush I normally go for. Milani, it's Coral Cove. I like the coral looks for a fresh face for myself. I, I, this, I've been using this blush forever. Um, I go to that before I go to NARS or anything. And I am I was a NARS fanatic at one point because we had a NARS store in Japan. So I'm not mad at it, y'all. I'm not mad at it at all, okay? The other things I got were, y'all, so they had lipstick on sale for $20. So I was like, yes, because y'all know their lipsticks are like almost $40. They're like 36 bucks, right? So I was like, hell yeah. So then I pick a lipstick and then after I bought it, I realized I picked one that wasn't on sale. I picked a shade that wasn't on sale. So I actually did pay $36 for this, but I got Hot Lips, Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know what the color is, y'all. I think it would, the color was just Hot Lips. Um, I don't know, cause y'all know I can't see. Y'all watch my box charms, you know, your girl can't see. Um, but I got like this nude pinky. It's like a mauve, like a mauve color. I did put some lip balm on before. I um, use my lip scrub. Y'all know I've got my lip scrub thing going. So um, if you want a lip scrub, hit your girl up because they're all organic. But let's, I'll swatch this first. I like it. It's smooth. It's smooth. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, hello, pigmentation. <laughs> hello, let me bust out a mirror. Cause, oh, y'all know I got my lips done, right? Um, That's a whole video, so check it out. But y'all, when I put lipstick on, my lips are looking <laughs> really good, really good, okay? Uh, but I also, I also just got Botox. Um. And so I can't move my top lip very well. So that's a little bit of a struggle when it comes to um, putting lipstick on. Well, it comes, it's a struggle when I do this because I can't really do that. Hmm. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bitch, you look good, girl. What? Y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all, after I got my lipstick, every time I turn around and go to my husband when I have lipstick on, I said, look at these lips. Don't they look good? I can't, I can't rub my lips together like the top part. So if I want to make sure it's even, I just have to put the lipstick on. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, mama likey, okay? It's okay that I spent almost $40 on this. That's okay. I'm kind of feeling myself right now. 
<laughs> not even gonna lie to you not even gonna lie i got one more thing my mystery item but first do y'all like this shirt because let me tell you okay i'm gonna keep it real with you i don't have pants on i had a dress on i just pulled the top of my dress down and put this shirt on so i didn't look crazy but look y'all got this it's like a crop top sweater i got it from the victoria's secret outlet i've only been to one barely knew they existed but um I got this there for 20 bucks. If y'all want a video um, of a, like a vlog of Victoria's Secret Outlet, let me know. I uh, try to get that done for you. Mystery item, it's a lipstick. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, so I wanted to do a vlog on the Victoria's Secret Outlet, but then I thought, ah, who really cares since most people probably don't have that. That's as good as I can get it off. Okay, so the mystery item, y'all, actually really happy about it. I was scared I'd get some crap that I didn't want and I just wasted $20, but it said mystery item is a full-size item and it's $20. So I said, ah, okay, I'm a, I'm a gambler. I'll try it out, I'll, I'll see what I get. Um, I got a lipstick, okay. Is this full-size? I feel like it's not. Um, so I got the Pillow Talk lipstick in, um, what the hell? A Pillow Talk in Superstar Lips. It's a glossy starlit lip look. Try to say that 10 times fast. So here's a story. I wanted the Pillow Talk shade for a while. My husband bought me a shade. It was not Pillow Talk. So I was going to return it and I left it in the box so that I could exchange it at Sephora. But Tita got into it because y'all know Tita loves her makeup and she she didn't ruin it. It's usable, but I couldn't return that and feel good about myself. Um, so I didn't. I kept it. I'm liking this though. This is the shade. Put it up some more. Um, but I know the lipstick I did get came in a tube like this. This is a small skinny tube. This is not a skinny tube. So there's that. Normally I don't run out of lipsticks anyway, but just throwing it out. Oh, cause this is more, this feels more glossy. Yeah, like they're both cream, right? But this feels more glossy. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, I'm feeling so fancy right now. Shit. Okay, so the pink that I have on my lips is probably gonna throw this shade off a little. But my lips are actually really dark anyway. So. I feel like because this is kind of a dark shade, it might just even out my lips and give them a little bit of a glossy look. You know what? It's because I have this other lipstick on. I gotta super like wipe it off. Damn. I'm sorry, y'all. This is why I don't do makeup videos. I just talk about makeup because I probably screw up a lot. Okay. Okay, I got most of it off. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, my lips are dark. Let me tell you, so many people tell me like, oh girl, I love your lipstick. And I'm like, girl, it's Carmex. Like, calm down. My lips are just dark as hell. Oh, y'all. Yeah, mama likey. Like, a lot. Okay, well, this is going in my bag, okay? If I put a lipstick in my bag, that means that lipstick is the shit and it's, you know, like has to go with me everywhere. Because this can literally, yo, fuck, I love it. This just really, yo, this is a shade that I could literally wear with anything, with any look. I could look like crap and wear this or I could be like, yes, bitch, and wear this, like, Yes, y'all, stop. Stop the press. Anyway, that's all That's all the stuff I got. The thing I liked about this, it came in a big, the box is brown, right? But when you open it up, it has like nice pink packaging. It says Charlotte Tilbury. It's not like Sephora where they just throw that shit in there and then like stuff some paper so it doesn't move and then ship it off. Like, I feel like they put a little bit of effort into this and I appreciate that. I appreciate it. All in all, what do I think about my products? Yeah, this bronzer, I like it. 
I don't know if I'd buy it again for $55. I gotta see how long it lasts. This blush, hmm, blush duo thing. Like I said, if you're a lighter complexion than me, this will look good. I, I feel like I'm loving that subtle glow a lot, even though I normally wanna look like, you know, like a Guy Diamond. Let's try this. I've got some NARS here. I think this is, I got these all in Japan. I think this is um, Albatross. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's just bump that subtle glow up a little. Okay, let's, let's be the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I likes. I likes it. I likes that. I likes it a lot. I don't know. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm feeling it. Let me know also if y'all like this not so professional beauty vlogging video because y'all know I'm only half ass professional. Um, <laughs> I like it. I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, I've also got a Morphe. Here we go. I bought a crap ton of stuff from Morphe. I'm going to do a video on that. I mean, I might screw that one up too. Who knows? But I'm going to do a video on that also. Anyway, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and all those good things. Bye!